woke up while nature was sound asleep so I could marvel at its kingdom. I strolled through its lush gardens and saw every little wonder up close. Here, you can dance with giants, discover a feast for the eyes, and a feast for the appetite. Walls that hold heroes' stories told me of their bravery. While sacred places blessed my journey. I roamed places that stood the test of time. And others that were there since the beginning. Day, I wake up to a feast. <laughs> Where I can sink my teeth into history. Or shock my taste buds with something new. It's here I learned the color of sweetness. Expanded my pantry. And my appetite. Every next bite only leaves you hungry for more. I just woke up from the time of my life. I started with a major throwback. Then I got to meet the big shots. I found a sweet spot between cultures and hung out with the artsy crowd. I even picked up a few things along the way. After that, things kicked into overdrive. It started with a whirlwind through the streets. An unforgettable eats. A celebration of flavor in every bite. And an epic new party at every turn. The best thing about it here, the good times are never over.
Hi guys, you're now boarding GPS TV. I'm Aya Fernandez, your online travel buddy. Join me as we navigate your way through your favorite destinations, making sure, of course, to go safe, go travel. There is already a lot to think about when planning for your big day. That's right, yun ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon. So, from the date of your wedding, di ba? For um, uh, the number of guests, saan gaganapin, wedding gowns, entourage, yung playlist, at higit sa lahat, higit sa lahat, yung hashtag, <laughs> di ba? Gano'ng katagal yung panahon na kailangan para mabuo yung mga couple hashtags na yan. Yung iba dyan, tinatanong na yung nagpapasurvey na, di ba nga sa mga friends, sa mga kapamilya, just to come up with the hashtag or yung naturingan na rin na wedding event title ng mga couples, di ba? Tuloy ang kasalan. And, um, but ko ba yun nabanggit? Because despite the pandemic, couples were still able to make their wedding day unique and something that they will definitely remember, di ba? It's just the proof na talagang creative ang mga Pinoy kahit na ang dami-dami nangyayari. May hashtag pa rin ang kasalan. But before anything else, let me remind you again that we should first, of course, ang dapat nating tatandaan na hashtag na pinakamahalaga sa lahat. Hashtag, go safe, go travel. And this applies to the couple and the guests that you want to invite. Your health and safety should always be the priority. Kahit na saan man o kailan man gaganapin ang inyong wedding, at this point, kailangan safety talaga ang unang ating priority. Now, what are the things that you should prepare for when planning an intimate wedding? Yes, um, yan ang ating keyword of the day. Intimate wedding. So, intimate. To help you prepare to go safe and get married in 2020, we have invited a wedding planner, a host, a wedding venue, and a travel consultant to give you a closer look on how to plan for a safe and intimate wedding. So, kung ikaw man ay ikakasal na, pinaplanong magkasal, o kaya katulad ko, na medyo malayo-layo pa naman ng kasalan, pero parang inspired na akong mangarap ng aking dream wedding. This episode is definitely for you. So let me call on now our guest, our first guest. She is the group director for sales and marketing of the Bellevue Resort Bohol, one of the safe and accredited wedding destinations in the Philippines. Miss Amy Villana. Good afternoon, Aya. Hello, and uh, hi also to our co-panelists. This will be an exciting afternoon for everyone. So oh. please stay tuned and watch. Yes, that's right. Lalo na Paskong Pasko na po dyan sa inyo, Miss Amy. Thank you so much. Our next guest, he is among the country's top hosts for weddings. He's the number one in the top 10 MCs or hosts in the Philippines, the Wedding Vow SG. The weddings industry's finest achievers, 30 and below. And he has honed his skills uh, in hosting events for 10 years, a stand-up comedian for seven years, and three years in improvisation acting. Today, let's witness his quick wit and personality, Mr. Ari Neiman. Hello, guys. Hi, good afternoon. I'm uh, very happy to be here. And um, yes, um, hopefully we can have some uh, helpful discussions for those looking to travel and uh, hold their weddings uh, within the next few months but yes thank you for having me um, i'm very happy to help thank you for being here and i'm also excited kung ano nga ba yung experience nyo in hosting uh this new normal Our, um, mm -hmm. it's good yeah it's uh so far i've i've hosted a few now and um yeah i'm happy to share my experience later for sure yeah, we'll hear that later on our third guest he is a manila-based photographer for 30 years of experience in fashion wedding food, travel, and commercial photography, not to mention also in pageantry. He is a past president of two of the country's most distinguished photography organizations, Camera Club of the Philippines and Advertising Photographers of the Philippines. He was commissioned to be the wedding photographer for celebrities and personalities like Aga Mulak and uh, Charlene Gonzalez, Amanda Page, Andrew E., Rufa Gutierrez, Beth Tamayo, Tonton Gutierrez, Julian Santos, and Ryan Agoncillo, and so much more. The well-known wedding photographer, Mr. Patrick Uy. Hi. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me today. Uh, happy to be with you to share my experiences from pre-pandemic -pan pre and uh, ongoing current situation where 
I finally did one wedding uh, recently and love to share the experience. Yeah. Maririg po namin yan later on. Thank you, Sir Patrick. Our next guest, she first lent her hand into the world of gowns and tuxedos, planning her own debut alongside her event coordinator seven years ago. Since then, planners and Google Sheets have been her best friend as she dove head on to staging productions for the University of the Philippines through her organization. So this young lady also has a Attention for hosting, may it be for Zumba parties, debut celebrations, and of course, the mga weddings. So let me call it now, Miss Cam Tolentino. Hi everyone, thank you for having me today. Mabuhay Aya, thank you GTS TV, and I'm so excited to learn from our panel and also to share our experience when it comes to planning weddings before the pandemic and even during the pandemic. For sure, all these milestones can still be celebrated happily and of course safely. Yeah, same, same, same. And I'm so excited to hear that from you guys. Now, let me call on our last, but not the least, guest. She is the president of Travel Assure Philippines. And it is an insurance agency uh, which specializes in non-life insurance for the past 11 years. Miss Patty King. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I'm so happy to be with this group of young people. Uh, we've insured, yeah, we've insured uh, passengers, thousands of them over the past 11 years. But during this pandemic, I have had to refocus into my other product line. So I hope to crash the wedding market soon. Yes, and meron, meron pa tayong tinatawag na COVID insurance, di ba po? So mamaya, yes, we do. mamaya, maririnig, maririnig pa namin yan from you, Miss Patty. Thank you so much. Yes. And to you guys watching on Facebook and YouTube, tune in to GPS TV here again on Facebook and YouTube to learn more about the tips for worry-free travels and unique journeys to booth. So again, mabuhay po sa inyong lahat, uh, Miss Cam, Sir Eri, Miss Patty, and Miss Amy. Um... Before anything else, gusto mo ko muna simulan yung ating discussion with how did you get acquainted with the wedding scene? Like, uh, in your line of profession, paano? Paano po kayo na landing dyan sa wedding scene? Siguro, let's start with um, with Sir Patrick. Um, for me, I was in the advertising business first. Mm -hmm. And wedding was come as like an accident. I did a wedding of a friend. And from that wedding, um, nanganak na nanganak, yung kasal. Uh, and yun na yun. Uh, yun na yun. Sir Patrick, yung, yung wedding mo po ng friend na niyo yun, um, was it like a favor? Or parang binayaran din po kayo as like, hinire talaga kayo as a photographer? Hinire din ako for okay. that. It was a friend. I was called in maybe three weeks before the wedding. Na. But kilala ko friend eh. Who oh, come uh -huh. do my wedding. I thought ako lang yung photographer. When I got there, there were two more studios. So oh. I was the third studio shooting the wedding. Uh -huh. uh, I had my whole team. And I told my boys, we filmed pa kami noon, huh? Wow. Ocean film. So we had about, I bought about 40 rolls. And I told my boys, we're going to finish this 40 rolls. Only na kami that time. We shoot <laughs> at will. Because the other studio was shooting maximum of six rolls. Oh my God. So I said, um, uh, we kind of have to do a good job. and. Through that wedding was referred, 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 uh -uh. and I probably did the maid of honor and the secondary sponsors of that wedding, all their uh -huh. weddings. Pag sunod -sunod dyan, pag barkada, I think she was one of the first in the barkada to get married. Tuloy-tuloy yun nanganak yung kasal. Oh. Strictly by the firm. Yeah, but look where you are na, no? Nagsimula lang sa, uy, yeah. pa photographer na, mag, mag, ano ka naman sa wedding ko, ganon. Yeah. Thank you, Sir Patrick. How about you, Sir Ari? Um, how did you get into the wedding scene as a host? Um, uh, I was uh, already very uh, active as a host. And then uh, I think uh, those things, parang, oh, could you, same same as usually everyone naman, they, um, uh, what happens is uh, you get referred, oh, can you do this? Uh, I think it was a debut, the first thing I did, and then it was a wedding after. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think wedding someone kasi is probably the most referral-based sort of industry. Uh -huh. 
because you're handling such important um, moments that it's also a double-edged sword. If you do bad, wala na talaga. If someone just says, because it's such a special event, so yeah. you really have to take care of it because it's the most special event of a person's life. Yeah. Um, if you take care of the couple, then naturally the referrals really just happen, naturally happen. But if you don't, then those things kind of go around quickly as well. I mean, it's just what's at stake. It's, you know, it's really just a precious memory for for someone. So, um, yeah, it definitely rewards you. It's an industry that definitely takes care of you a lot if you take care of it, if you take care of your clients and your couples um, within the industry. But, yeah, that's how it happened. And then... Well, I've I've already went through in the entire families hosting. That was <laughs> friends. Just yesterday, I was hosting, and then a couple that I hosted for um, uh, said hi. The yeah. common friend. Then usually, ganyan naman talaga yeah. eh. again. But it all really centers on taking care of make each and every break. couple. You have to take. Mm-hmm. I don't wouldn't say just make or break. Major pressure to look at it that way. <laughs> it's, just just take care of them. Kung naalagaan mo naman yung couples, and I, then. And I feel like one event is. It's very different from another since it's very personal also. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. But yes. I think just having the mindset naman to take care of couples. Yun lang naman. I mean, um, that's it. Uh, make yeah. or break, uh, it's medyo parang so much pressure on yourself naman if you look at it that way. But it's just, <laughs> right. alag- alagaan mo lang yung couples and then Uh-oh. I think that usually follows naman. Thank you so much. Dito sa GPS TV, guys, ano rin to eh, para rin tayong nasa career talk, di ba? Para sa mga aspiring uh, wedding coordinators, planners, hosts, and photographers. O oh, baka ang wedding scene might be also for you. Uh, Miss Cam, I'd like to ask you, why is your company called The Weekend Planner? Hmm. So we actually named it the weekend planner. So brang funny story. Kasi um just like Sir Airy, di ba parang we really didn't plan to uh, end up putting up the weekend planner. Mm-hmm. It it just so happened that my boyfriend, now business partner, he has been freelancing as a as a wedding coordinator since he was I think 16. We're turning 25 this December, so. You guys do the math, mahinaw sa math. <laughs> so, that's how it started. And then for myself naman, I've been hosting. So, since college, teach ko mako, so tuwing merong family event, parang, oh, si Cam, kaya magsalita, ikaw na yung host. And then, since naging kami nga, tinagtatandem kami na, oh, ikaw yung planner, ikaw yung host. And then, kung uh-uh. ano, um, pro bono for friends. And then, suddenly a friend assumed na we were already in business. Mm-hmm. Then referred us to a friend getting married. So we had no logo, no name, no nothing. I said, well, no branding at all, no business plan, wala pang race even. Uh, referred us. And then suddenly we started brainstorming. I think we could make this out to be a business. We could help more lives. We could yeah. um, celebrate more milestones with people. And then we namin, of course, um, the wedding industry, the whole planning tends to be very stressful. Like I've experienced planning my own, not wedding yet, uh, I experienced planning my own debut, and yeah. parang dun lang umikot yung mundo ko for a whole year, mm-hmm. and it felt, thankfully, I had a really good wedding coordinator, ay, event coordinator, hala pinipre-em, <laughs> I had a really good event coordinator, so it was less stressful, but I could imagine kasi the amount of stress, and you know the concept of events happening on weekend, but then the whole planning process doesn't feel so chill or as laid back as a weekend. So we yeah. want to bring that vibe not only to the event but actually to the whole planning process. So I like, that's where I like that the concept. Line, let's bring the weekend to your event. Yeah. I like that concept. Like you are <laughs> chill but you get things done. Kasi di ba usually ang concept yeah. kapag you get things done, minsan ngarag or lahat, um, lahat fast paced. But this one, you want it to be laid back and chill, but we get things done. That's so nice. Yeah, because that's the worst thing. I think um, I've known you since college, and you guys would always tease me that even if I was juggling a million things, I'm fresh. And yes. that's one of the worst things I like. Uh, that's one of the worst things. Looking stressed when things are stressful. Dapat isa lang. Kung stressed ka, dapat di ka makastress. <laughs> so na, that's really like the whole concept about it. Ayokong, I don't like people getting stressed. <laughs> oh, alam mo, pwede ka pang gumawa ng another um, 
another episode for uh, how to be fresh while being stressed. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank, you. Tutorial ba? <laughs> thank you, Miss Camp. Uh, anyway, now I see you nodding, Miss Patty and Miss Amy. Miss Patty, based from your experience in uh, the insurance industry, what do wedding celebrations mean to you in connection to what you do? Okay, right now, what they mean to me is that I focus on another aspect of my business. All okay, right. For the past 1 million years, I have been in the travel industry until finally I put up my own company because one fine day somebody asked me if I wanted to buy this travel insurance company. I said, no way, that's only a small part of me, blah, blah, blah. And then <clears throat> after 11 years, I found myself looking back and seeing that I have insured thousands of passengers these mm -hmm. past years. But then this pandemic, who travels? So <laughs> shift mindset. So I now focus on insuring cars, uh, houses, etc. And I have been fortunate that I have I have clients who do productions oh, nice. and they have started shooting they have started shooting lately. So I have had siguro mo, less than 500 uh, production people. in, mm -hmm. And I also insure events. I insure um, events venues. But I've never really gone into the wedding okay. business. Okay. So, but if you're in emphasizing wedding destinations, we do have insurance that covers the travel mm -hmm. and it has COVID yeah. coverage. So it's very relevant to us. Can you tell so us about the COVID uh, coverage? <clears throat> the COVID coverage in case you get COVID <laughs> during your trip, whether it's just, let's say you're going to Bohol to get married, mm -hmm. we can cover the whole wedding party and it's not really that expensive because it's just a weekend uh -uh. or one if they're if you're going out of the country uh some travel agents are already in singapore right now looking <laughs> um we also cover that so everything even the car that you use to go to that you use for the wedding uh couple we can also ensure that so nice. everything Take away the worry in the planning process and and you're almost there. Mm. And I feel like it's more of uh, being cautious in every step of the way, right? from planning to execution. Parang, I feel like the worry will always be there. It's just that how you respond to it. Ganon. Thank you so much, yes, Miss Patty, sir. for that. Now, since you Thank mentioned you, yeah, something about shifting the mindset, any wedding in 2020 will always you know, look differently from how things were, diba? I know everyone will agree to this. Anything na 2020, ah, yan yung COVID na taon, diba? And some decided to plan something simple and smaller scale, tapos naging malaking celebration later on. Yung iba naman para nag-adjust to the call of times na, like gaya nga ngayon, na made this year's celebrations their one big day. Now, uh, Miss Amy, I'd like to ask you how different naman yung weddings in 2020 based on your experience? Like, what was the experience like handling intimate weddings right now? You know, I uh, just to mention, no, in 2020, uh, last year, and dami namin uh, weddings, big weddings, because uh, very in now is the destination weddings. We're getting a lot from uh, yung mga kababayan natin working overseas. They want to, to, to get married in Bohol. Mm -hmm. And then from other um, provinces as well, like uh, Baholo, Davao. And then all those weddings, the good thing about it, hindi nila yung kinancel, they just postponed it. Yeah. So para in skip delay in 2020. <laughs> but uh, for, for this pandemic, um, I'm happy to announce that uh, we, we got small intimate weddings. The difference is that, of course, it's hybrid. Most of the attendees, um, naka, naka, naka virtual. So, Umaten sila virtually, so we Cute. set up in yes. Uh -oh. Kasi uh, the attendees are all over the Philippines, sometimes abroad pa. And uh, they get to share the special occasion with the couple. Hindi nga lang physically, but at least in spirit, ba? And aside from the, you know, safety protocols that were implemented uh, in Bohol, in Bellevue Bohol, 
um, yung beachfront kasi namin, we're, we're encouraging outdoor weddings. Because if it's outdoor, di ba, they, they feel more safe. Ah, oo nga, oo. Oh, oh. oh, kasi hindi siya in an enclosed area. And of course, the distancing. With the 250 meter wide uh, <laughs> beachfront na mayroon kami sa Bellevue Bohol, uh-huh. you know, you have ample space uh, to do your, your wedding. Miss Amy, ilan can we just have a refresher kung ilang tao dapat sa isang wedding? Like if it's indoor outdoor, ilan po yung tao may difference by um, ever? Yung capacity kasi eh, di ba? Uh, we have to provide the, the proper distancing of 1 to 1.5 meters apart. Yeah. So just like the 250 meter beachfront that we have, we use cater a thousand, up to a thousand to that beachfront. But of okay. course, the distancing now I think it can only accommodate about 300 to 400 people. So, talagang okay. mas flash yung number. Ang dami pa rin nun, ah. <laughs> yes, kasi no? malaki yung beachfront natin. Yeah, 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 yeah. In Bellevue. So, ma- marami pa rin. But of course, in other areas, hindi na ganun. Like, if in Manila, we have a bottle mm-hmm. for 700, around 200 na lang. So, ganun yung effect nitong ating bagong protocols yeah. at the wedding destination. Miss Amy, habang, last up po talaga, sobrang curious ko lang, kapag nasa Bellevue and then nandun na sa reception, ano po yun? Meron nakabantay na staff na parang, okay. Yeah, like yung, yung mga nag-warn kapag, ay, masyado pong malapit. Ano? Meron tayo. Uh, we have people who will ensure that the safety protocols will be followed, that mm-hmm. they have to wear the mask, of course, di ba? And then they have to do the distancing very very ano yan, very particular mm-hmm. tayo chan. Even the table set up, you will see talaga may distance yan. Even mm-hmm. when they line up going to the beachfront, kasi diba magre-register yan. Uh-huh. We also do, um, you know, uh, distancing. Ating, oh, oh, distancing, mm-hmm. yung ating uh, health declaration. Bago yeah. Code na yan. Hala, so paano po yun, Miss Amy, pag kiss the bride? So meron pong magsastop, bawal. So ah okay, so ibig sabihin, all throughout the wedding the couple should also wear a mask. Yes, uh during uh tapat. All right. Thank you, Miss Amy, for that. Um, Miss Cam, based from your experience, what is the dress code like? ngayon sa mga weddings? For the dress code, since well, a lot of weddings have shifted to having their celebrations at restaurants, some of them na awkward kung kailangan masyadong naka-formal. Well, of course, SOP, laging part na ng OOTD or outfit of the day ng lahat yung face shields and masks. Sobrang cute mm-hmm. pa kasi um, share ko lang, we have a wedding on Monday and then the groom is gonna be wearing a barong. Excited siya mag-wear ng copper mask because <laughs> bagay daw sa barong niya. But, well, yun. Number one talaga, uh, regardless of whether it's gonna be formal, semi-formal, smart casual, laging ready yung mask and face mask. shield. But when it comes to the attire, it really varies. Nagkataon lang, I guess, that a lot of the weddings we've recently handled are in restaurants. So a lot of them would opt laid na back. a bit more casual, a bit more laid back, uh, mm-hmm. a bit more cocktail dresses instead of long gowns. But mm-hmm. really, it really depends on the couple. Depends sa kanila and sa guests nila what they would like. Kasi syempre, kung gusto naman ni couple, naka-formal pa rin silang lahat sa, um, be- um, sa restaurant. And then why not? Go on yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they make the final choice. We only yeah, advise yung... kung masyadong mainit, diba? Yeah, basta so, mask. Kung basta kung masyadong mask. mainit, basta yeah. mask. Basta mask. Basta mask. Mask talaga number one. And kailangan, kasi nauug, so may yung cloth mask, diba? So mm. kapag ganun yung gusto nila, we tell them, kailangan yung kaya mag-insert ng surgical mask. Kasi kung cloth mask na it next to nothing, I would say, Mm. And it doesn't really protect you as much. So as long as may face mask, may face shield, kahit na anong attire pa yan, may be smart casual to very, very formal. Yeah. Uh, the sky is the limit. Thank you for that. So para sa mga mag-weddings, tan- take note. <laughs> Thank you. Sir Ari. <laughs> you um, number one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sir Ari, what were the preparations or adjustments you had to do to to go to weddings like you mentioned during our briefing that I just had two events previously like for a safe wedding celebration as a host 
what were the different preparations that you've done and um, you're doing okay um well in in my case uh i think the planning process is a very has to be very flexible right now because mm -hmm. um we're also at the mercy of whatever government regulations that are implemented um uh, by that time, because so it's really more planning now than it was before. So instead of, let's say, one or two meetings, it's now three or four, because we have to constantly check back with each other um, if the government regulations are um, still the same. If not, then we have to adjust or sometimes yeah. even just venue protocol becomes mm -hmm. different. I say they tightened up in this area or they tightened up in that area. So we have to adjust, but it's really all weighed on safety. I think um, one thing that I, I feel is the most important now is just everyone just putting safety at the most important. Uh, at the end of the day, because we're still going through this pandemic, COVID-19 mm -hmm. is still here and lives that are, are at risk. So mm -hmm. um, yun lang naman. I think um, as long as everyone tries their best to observe safety protocols, Mm -hmm. Alam naman tayo mga Pinoy minsan, we're just like, huwag na tayo mag-outfit, pangit sa forma. I've been, I've been hearing those things from other co-suppliers and really it's honestly our job as suppliers to keep everyone in check and remind, especially venues, since venues are responsible for their space, suppliers working with venues and everyone to make sure, guys, please wear masks, please. Um, of course, they remove it when they eat and social distancing naman takes care of that. But it's really just constantly reminding everyone that um, we have to do our best to make sure that we prevent spreading of the virus or anyone getting infected as best as we can. And um, yeah, I think it's just our responsibility as suppliers to be able to communicate yeah. that properly. But could you go through us uh, with your uh, yung simple visual preparation? Like if it's, if it's an on-ground event, like as a host, Mm. Um, is it like you're wearing gloves while you host? Do you wear mask while you I, host? I, I, I wear know this a, is very simple, I, I, but I no no yeah. I wear I wear a mask. Um, but while there are hosting. certain yeah there are certain masks cause that get in the way of your sound. If it muffles your sound, like I think the copper mask is not very good for hosting because okay. it will muffle your sound. Um, mm -hmm. even though it's very popular, but as a host. I use this nano masks that's locally made. Um, Air Queen as well, I heard is very good for um, uh, hosting. hosting because it doesn't muffle your sound. Right. Um, I had a talk with uh, Mark Tan of High Impact, um, very, very respected lights and sound provider because mm -hmm. I wanted to know from Mark if um, okay lang ba mag host with the mask, will it affect um, everything? And he said, a mask is fine. Right. It's just a face mask talaga will get in the way of the sound. Yeah. Kasi yeah. wala talaga. It's not gonna, even here, it doesn't even sound good. So, um, ako naman, I wear a mask because you wear a mask to protect yourself and to protect others as well. Because everyone will feel nervous if the host doesn't wear a mask. Tapos pa ikot I don't think it's... <laughs> yeah. And since you're also kind of, you know, um, they're in front and you're always seen and you're you're carrying the flow of the show, Parang it sends the wrong message if you're not wearing a mask. Exactly. Diba? Kasi ikaw so yung everyone harap, should eh. follow parang, you then. Eh. Uh -oh. Parang just the fact that you're speaking with no masks already would put some people not at <laughs> ease. <laughs> Lumayo sila sa'yo bigla. Yeah, parang... Then, and, how about yeah. the mic? Do you... Parang, I know this is very simple, but then mm. I, I know na ito yung laging nakakalimutan. Eh. So do you just always hold on to your mic? Yes. And, um, and not... Change yes, uh, the host has his own mic. Um, uh, and what yeah. happens is if you pass mics to guests, you always have like a switch. Um, a good practical thing to do is you have, if you're, you have two mics na parati nagpapalit, so you disinfect in between. Um, okay. uh, like last night, you had mic covers over, parang mga, those, those elastic mic covers that you put over every time um, you do it. And then it's always spraying alcohol on it. Honestly, I mean, all weddings for me have just been a little bit more intimate and um, uh, just a little bit more intimate and everyone's wearing masks and these safety protocols are there. But honestly, the whole the flow is the same. Everything is the same. It's just that, um, yeah, There's we're... Little extra efforts in between to disinfect, to clean, hmm. to be It's just more intimate, yeah. Yeah. Mga instead of like the usual 100, 200 to 400 guests, which is like a standard before, now it's like around 50 to 100, depending on the size of the venue. Mm -hmm. So 
I think yun lang talaga. I think the really main thing is we have to be safe. If if we are safe, then we can continue with the industry and the industry slow, slowly getting back. But if we become lax and we don't really take serious the responsibility of reminding everyone that we should maintain social distancing and wear masks, um, then yun, then we'll be back to square one. And that's a, that's a group effort. That's a compound effort that everyone has to do all the time. Thank you. Thank you for um, going us through your experience. Thank you, Sir Eric. No worries. No worries. Sir Patrick, um, ayan, ngayon punta naman tayo sa photography scene. Diba, yan ang isa sa mga inaabangan sa mga weddings, yung napakaraming photo ops. Now, what are the allowed activities that we can do sa mga photo ops or like mga pre-nup activities? Um, paano po yung, yung pictorials nyo ngayong new normal sa mga weddings? Since I just did one wedding last, this November, and that was my first for this seven months. Kamusta? Uh, and I was also, uh, there's also fear to to continue to do the coverage. And buti naman, ginawa nila, we used it at church only. Uh, so since the hotels were closed, uh, we were supposed to be in Conrad Hotel, but uh, since it was closed, we got a rent, we rented a studio in Makati so that, we, that, that became where the bridal preparation was. And because it was just the bride, her mom, and her family, uh, her family came after two hours to do the family portraits. Mm-hmm. So that's a, so we, they were, everybody was a mask until the time that you're going to do your portrait. So sometimes they remove the mask momentarily. I was using a longer lens than I usually use mm, okay. so that you keep your distance. And voila. So we still have the family portraits. And then when we got to church, every, yeah. Everybody had a mask until the end of the at the end of the mass wherein they allowed to have mask free during the family and group picture taking. Uh, it's nakakaiba when you see my pictures where people walking down the aisle and they had masks. They, they can smile in their eyes, but I, I feel kulang. Uh, I feel sad in some ways, but I'm I'm happy na tuloy ang kasal. Because in my 30 years of experience, despite the Asian crisis, the U.S. financial crisis, tuloy ang kasal eh, bongga kasal. But now, my first wedding is, actually, buti the church allowed from 18, naging 25 people allowed, at including least. photo and video. Uh-oh. 25, wow. that's it. Ah. So, then, re- reduce na rin yung ano, yung assistance? So, the just, just myself as photo, no, uh, one assistant, and one cameraman for video, that's it. Mm-hmm. So talagang normally would be about 10. Sabu kami normally. Mm-hmm. So talagang streamlined. At the same time, normal kasi I do, uh, mga weddings as you shoot namin, usually bisita 800 to 1,000 guests. <laughs> yeah. You know? To shoot yeah. below 100 people is, uh, I can count the number in my one head, how many weddings I've done. But the smallest I've done wedding in, Many years ago, it was 20 packs in Maktan Shang. It was uh-huh. my first intimate wedding, and uh-huh. one was 50. So I love intimate weddings. It's more kasi pag intimate weddings, mga invitado lang, you invite only the dear friends and family. Yeah. That's why some of my weddings are like overseas, like Hong Kong, eh, from Manila, because they want to be a smaller group. Uh-huh. So those are the start of the intimate weddings. And intimate weddings are more fun. You can see yeah. more joy. You see more hugs. You know, have to be ready when they first meet. They hug, you know? but we lose all that hugging now. No hug, <laughs> no no kissing. Pala air kiss lang. Yeah. Um, it's but sad. That, plus, but actually, that's the beauty of it, eh, no? Uh, when you remove the extravagance or yung ibang palamute, that's when you come to realize na ah, wala pala yung doon. Wala talaga doon yung ligaya ng event. Nasa yeah tao talaga na kinasal oh, and being you know, there. No? Well, ang maganda nangyari talaga is we, back, we reset back to basics and you know what's important, the essence of it all. True. You're down to the central essence, what's what's valuable. And it's really the people who come, people who love you and people who you love. Yeah. And, uh, that's all. Ganda. Thank you, Sir Patrick. Uh, one lang. Mm-hmm. Some would like uh, 
some do video streaming or live streaming. Oh yeah. Uh, my bride in particular decided not to do live streaming. Mm -hmm. uh, but then so I committed to do a same day edit in two day, in, a, in a day or two. In a day we finished the edit so she could post and share with her family. Nice. But I just, she doesn't want to be too candid. So it's like a can well. Mm -mm. Nice. At least, ano pa rin, di ba? Na-achieve pa rin na merong um, video at the end of the event. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Sir Patrick. I saw you, Miss Amy, nodding. Gusto ko po kayo tanongin, ano po yung mga allowed na activities na ngayon mas intimate na yung weddings? Like, meron pa rin bang games? Ano po yung maximum number of people per activity? Per yung mga socials? Yes. Um, it's not the usual, no? Uh, hindi na lang siguro yung talagang may physical interaction, pero yung mga games like asking how how well did they know the couple, it's the okay. usual eh. Yes, so less physical then, na lang talaga. Yes, less, less, less um, contact, no? And then yung throwing of uh, bouquet, pwede pa rin yun. You just have to arrange yung uh, mga ladies. Uh, na may distancing sila and uh, you know the wedding organizers I believe with this pandemic they became more creative eh. and mm. uh, ang daming gimmicks niyan but um, for the past three weddings that we had in the resort uh, it was very simple it's you know I think uh, I agree with you Aya when you said na uh, the simpler it is is uh, the better yung, yung essence nung uh, being together, mm -hmm. reuniting with, with few family members and friends. So, yun yung nanotice ko. Very simple, yet you can see the joy in the faces of the, the, the couple. Yeah. Thank you for that. Hmm. Okay. Noted. Noted. <laughs> pa pag ako rin pupunta sa mga weddings, yun din yung tatandaan ko. Less contact talaga yun. No? Anyway, uh, rules and regulations vary from provinces. Di ba? You yeah. would all agree to this. And so it's important to stay informed with the latest guidelines in your wedding location as well as where your guests will be traveling from. Kaya nang na-mention kayo na ni Sir Eri, uh, the, the guidelines changes uh, change from time to time. Now, what can you advise to the couples out there? What are the things to consider when planning an intimate wedding in 2020? Let's start with Miss Patty from coming from your um, perspective in the insurance industry. Well, first of all, um the, the great worry talaga now is your safety, right? And protection. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> there's so many ways to protect yourself. Uh, if you're, whether you're here, getting married just here, or further away like Tagaytay, or one of my favorite destinations, Bohol, um, you have to consider that and get it out of the way now. <clears throat> it's like having a card insurance you need it, it's required, but you don't want to use it. You just want to feel safe, right? Mm -hmm. And make sure that the place you're going to is protected also. We have, um, we have insurance for that as well. Going to use or the car, meron din yon. Tapos yung, if you're going to have a production or an event, there's such a thing as um production insurance as well mm -hmm. and you know the productions we've handled they give us the names at the last minute because they've all had covid tests only okay. those who pass the test get and go through get, yes go through the production mm -hmm. so mga ganon, get it out of the way so that you can uh, focus on the the core of the event which is getting married, your love for each other, being That's with family, so and the most uh, the most special friends and relatives. Yeah, actually, anyway, kasi kung di mo yung gagawin, <laughs> mag-aalala ka rin during oh, the event, oh, eh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Patty. Uh, you. Sir Ari, how about you? Um, based from your previous experiences, what can you advise to the couples out there who are getting married this 2020? Well, if, if we look at it, um, 2020 is just uh, another month, right? I mean, <laughs> eh, it's like one last month, but um, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's gonna change 2021, early 2021. Definitely. So I think this is something that we, until a vaccine is made, 
um, then it, this is really going to be, you know, our standard protocol with things. Um, I think it's all about respecting safety. Um, you can have your wedding. You really could. I mean, you can have it on December now based on government protocol. Um, uh, you can have it early January. You can have it Feb. It's just um, you have to understand that if you're doing it during a time of a pandemic, you just always you have to respect the protocols that are attached with that. Right. Some can say I've, I've uh, like I said, I'm sharing this again because I, I'd want to talk to certain types of couples and guests that are a bit um, hard headed. Na, let's say I didn't siguro kailangan mag mask during this time yeah. or I will remove it and I'm sure venues get stressed to implement and um, say oh no you have to wear it all the time um, I mean if for me lang kasi if just um, a few hours of being uncomfortable wearing a mask leads to preserving a life or making sure that you know no one gets infected or this this pandemic doesn't get worse than it is then that's worth it honestly I mean it's no argument um, and uh, I do hope suppliers, um, venues, coordinators, um, even if it's a hard conversation to have, and even if maybe guests wouldn't respond appropriately, you still hold your ground and still say, please, this is really, this is, this is what needs to be done. And yeah. just know that you holding your ground, um, you know, preserves and protects everyone. You know, yeah. like, how would you feel if one person got COVID and then it was an older person or it was someone who really had a bad case? Parang, di ba? Parang... Nakaka-guilty eh. Nakaka, you don't want that on your ano eh. And I, I just, it's just so, I, it's sometimes it's baffling to me how some people forget about that. Mm -hmm. um, but they do. And that's the reality of the situation. That's why when, when I was um, called in to do this episode and it's about safety... For me, it's just really wanting to highlight, please respect safety protocols if you're going to do it this year or next year. And for reminding suppliers to please stand strong in your position to um, uh, administer those safety protocols, especially for venues. I'm sure, Amy, you've gone through. Ayaw nila mag-mask. Bakit? Um, gusto mo na lang, you want to shake them. Please, may mga namamatay pa din. Please. I mean, you know, but I mean, that's part of the job. And um, if you, I noticed that if you just say it naman and you remind them what's there and what's at stake and you do it nicely, you can do it naman without ruining the vibe. Because, diba, yun, yun din yung concern natin as suppliers. We don't want to be, we don't want to say it too much. <laughs> uh, tapos KJ, you ruin the vibe. Uh, <laughs> you, KJ, masyado. Pero honestly, guys, I would rather, honestly, for me, I'm willing to ruin the vibe if, if, um, if if it means the safety of everyone, mm, mm -mm. um, and it I, I, as much as possible, you don't want to have it to get that way. But sometimes there are just that type of guests that are a bit medyo parang ayo makinig. So please please um maintain your position if you're a if you're a supplier because it's our responsibility, right? I mean we do this all the time, and this is part of the job now of really reminding everyone, please. Uh, safety protocol, please. Um, I know your masks. Um, but a wonderful thing that honestly, um, I think is a great thing that can be done is if everyone has tests before the mm. ano. So Actually. for me, kung ano naman, let's say everyone had the test and everyone was negative, then that's a possible way na parang to make everyone a little bit more at ease and just uh -huh. maybe social distance and everything. Yeah, Pero exactly. Honestly you don't really know what everyone does or where everyone yeah. goes. So I really would just want to go back to just please wear a mask yeah. to your guests. I know it's uncomfortable. I know sige, uh, it doesn't, you know, na-apekto yung, na yung forma nyo, your style and everything. <laughs> but that's you just such a, it's such a little thing. Yeah. You weigh in protecting everyone and, and also, making sure. Yun nga. Yeah, and even if uh, you take the PCR test, it's just uh, making you sure that you are negative on the day that you got the test. So, yeah. um, it's yeah. sa mga nanonood right now, kung magiging pasaway pa rin kayo after this episode, ako po yung pupunta sa mga doorstep nyo para para yugyugin kayo. Just, <laughs> just, wear, just wear a mask. Just wear, wear a mask, Aya, when you do yeah. that. Para at least, <laughs> pag niyugyug mo. 
But I mean, yun lang talaga. I mean, that's all yeah. I want to highlight. You really can have it this year. You never. can have it this year. It's but been just shown never naman. Put your guard down. Don't don't compromise everyone's safety in your own. Parang it's it's just it's so it's so ano it's so easy to understand that. And it's I mean, why do we have to argue against that? I don't think it has to be. I mean, buhay yung yeah. pinag-uusapan, safety of other people yung pinag-uusapan. You know, livelihoods as well because if this yeah. pandemic stretches, then it's so hard for people to continue on with their livelihood. So, I mean, just by wearing a mask, you get to, <laughs> to yeah. you know, trek on. So, parang yun lang. That's, That's all it. I really so want to highlight. Really. Thank you, Sir Eri. Guys, maalalim yung pinaghuhugutan ni Sir Eri, ha? Mm. Kasi marami na siyang na host na mga events. So, please naman, sundin natin yung advice niya. Miss Cam, how about you? Uh, what, are your, the, what are the tips that you can give uh, to those who are considering in you know, having an intimate wedding? Well, number one talaga that we ask our clients, ano ba yung priority nyo? Do you really wanna have that number of guests, the 100 guests? Kung hindi talaga sila papayag na bawasan, kami sa kanila, well, you'd have to reschedule or wait until everything dies down. So far, I think, uh, naging swerte, we're very blessed with our clients. Um, tinatanggap lang nila yung mga hard talks from us. When we tell them, you can't have that 100 guest wedding, you'd have to reschedule indefinitely. And then sila, parang, oh, sige, priority okay, namin talaga na 100 kami. But, yeah, we really do the hard talks with the client. Sometimes inquiry pa lang, sinasabi na namin na hindi namin kayo papayagan na magtanggal ng mask. You would really have to add this to your thing. So bring, we even ask the couple themselves to bring extra masks. Mm -hmm. So on top of reminding their guests na, hey, bring your own mask, bring your own face shield, Yung client din mismo, si couple, we ask them to buy extra masks for everyone. Para mm -hmm. walang takas. Sobrang yeah. cute nga eh, kasi some actually make care packages already na may alcohol. And then kapag outdoor yung event, may citronella pa. Tapos yeah. may mask na nakasama. So we, go the, we really go the extra mile for that. And then nakakatawa because we always bring up the topic of having the suppliers and everyone actually gets tested. And then although it's additional expense, some couples opt not to have it, but those who do, yung safety talaga, Sir Eri kept on emphasizing, and yung <laughs> breath of fresh air, na ha, negative kaming lahat dito, but even if everyone tested negative, we still ask them to wear masks and practice social, social distancing. Yeah. Planning, planning to the next level, na kahit negative ako, I would still wear a mask, kahit yeah. negative yung patama ko, naka-mask din siya. So, all those things, pero number one talaga, we ask them, What's your priority? Some people naman, um, they take advantage of the situation. Yeah, we're gonna be safe, pero we really wanna take advantage of the silver lining na we don't have to explain to people na we can't invite them. Actually. So, people, <laughs> ba yung oh, mindset na like, I mean, um, tipid ka pa, <laughs> di ba? Yeah. Actually, I wouldn't say tipid. I wouldn't say tipid eh. Um, actually, that's a common misconception na tipid. Okay. Na kasi there are, of course, added costs also eh. Um, Yung suppliers naman are not cheaper now. Hindi naman siya dahil, um, let's say, um, intimate wedding, hindi naman pwedeng one person would do all the job. Hindi rin pwede yes. compromising yeah. the whole service yeah. that we're able to give. So it's not really cheaper also with the added cost of the mask, of the test, of um, yung hotel it's, kudos yeah. talaga. It's just ako. really, uh, yeah, yeah. Does this. yeah. Um, everyone who enters the hotel kailangan may ipipresent na medical certificate na nag-negative. So, right. um, sorry ko po, if anything, it's mm -hmm. not really cheaper. Inaasal yun ako ng dad, gawin po na pa na magkas magpakasal ngayon, pero no, not really. Yeah. Um, if anything, the cost just goes somewhere else. Oh, yeah. pwede pa rin mag-dispend. I'm not saying it's super, super expensive, but uh, don't expect it to be dirt cheap. <laughs> but it's, actually, if you come to think about yeah. it, uh, at least na nababago yung concept, yung, um, yung mindset natin on which to prioritize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we prioritize now in being intimate, yeah. aside from safety. Yeah. But like, we get yeah. to appreciate more the intimacy, like yung pagiging yeah. intimate. Yeah. Since wala rin That's naman ang true. choice. <laughs> yeah. Thank you That's so all. much. Actually, yeah. A different beauty talaga eh. Like my, uh, as I mentioned, my business partner kahit na mga seven, eight years na siya in the industry, 
Ayun, ang ganda ng moment ngayon nila, Sir Eri. Oo oh, nga eh. Family moment. So, my partner, <laughs> actually, kinikwento niya. <laughs> Hi! Yung partner ko kinikwento niya in his eight-year experience na yung panay-intimate lahat, plus meet na meet ng mga tao isa't isa kasi they haven't seen each other in a long time. Iba yung emotion and first time niya umayak in his oh. seven years. First time niya umayak in a wedding kasi nga sobrang intimate. When we talk to our clients, we tell them, oh, panay pamilya, pwede kang umiyak, pwede kang humalakak. As in, we had one client, just so they could be completely candid, they initially had a live streaming. And then right after the ceremony, they just wanted to let loose completely during the reception. They had the oh. live streaming but Yeah. I don't know, we just want to be with everyone. So, syempre, hindi na nila yung sinabi sa guests sa live stream, but they just told us, we want to cut the live stream and just keep things very intimate. Kaming-kami lang. Feeling ko hahagulgul ako. So, that's really the beauty of it. Of course, priority pa rin is safety, but um, of course, there's silver lining. Nagbabayanihan naman silang lahat maging safe. So, might as well enjoy the company of those closest Who to are them. there. Yeah, thank you so much, Miss mm-hmm. Cam. Sa ating mga viewers, o oh, excited na ba kayong ikasal? Wait lang! <laughs> We will continue the celebration after the short break. GPS TV's Journeys will be right back. Welcome back. You're still with me, your online travel buddy, Aya Fernandez. And the wedding bells are still ringing. Let's continue the conversation with our safe wedding buddies. So, naglipat lang tayo ng venue nga lang, di ba? Via Zoom tayo. Now, uh, I'd like to ask you guys, what is the mindset of clients who approach you to plan for an intimate wedding? Like, what is the ideal mindset that couples and guests should have? when planning and attending a wedding. Sir Patrick, ano po yung masasabi nyo dun? Actually, the couple's concern is also the same. Still safety concerns for all. They're also afraid. You know, it, the virus does not can strike anywhere. That's why the safety concerns will never be, is, for, is permanent for the next three to five mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. So we have to live with it. Uh, some so, projects, some of my projects, it, they might they do the swab test the day before the project or on the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, when one, yeah, a swab test can give an antigen, rapid antigen test might give you a little semblance of um, feeling of safety, but does not mean that you be, but it really feels cute. much better, no, no, excuse that. I know people in, like our trip, The other day to be called was when we brought uh, relief goods. The mm-hmm. CWC, Camera Club, and the team, everybody had a swab test prior, the day before prior to the trip. So at least somebody, in the people in the van, 
you feel a bit safe that people within the band are, are all negative. So same thing with the venue. I would choose a church that is not air conditioned, free, free flowing air. I would choose a reception venue that is also outdoor probably than a indoor air con. But air, air con dining, dining venues, you have 50, 50 chance of catching COVID if somebody has COVID. So the, the beach of Bellevue is perfect. Uh, two weeks ago um, in Tagaytay, there are many open venues in Tagaytay. So uh, there are choices, there are fine dining and all available in Tagaytay. Mm -hmm. So they, they are now at an, at, a, at an advantage because the venue with an open air, fresh air, good cross ventilation will be the choice venue for wedding reception. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sir Patrick, for that. Uh, Ms. Amy, anything to add? Uh, ano po yung mindset ng mga clients when yes. they attend on a wedding? Yes, I think same with the uh, venue, no? same with us, all of us here. The main concern of the couple is the safety of the guests mm -hmm. and, you know, their families. That's why at the beginning, before you sign any contract, you have to enumerate everything to them. You have to explain to them how strict your, your safety protocols is. And they have to follow that. Mm -hmm. They have to cooperate with you to ensure that they will have, you know, an intimate and yet very uh, memorable and uh, special wedding. So yeah, normally, yes, yes. They, they always allow that. They always agree. Uh, just to correct, they, they always agree to that mm -hmm. because... Uh, the, the destination as well as the wedding suppliers and the couple, um, isa yung uh, goal to have an intimate and yet safe wedding. No wedding. True. Uh, the yeah. safe all the time. So, <laughs> kailangan lang natin ilatag sa kanila ano ba yung dapat nila i-follow? Ano ba yung meron tayo? What what can they expect from the, the resort? To manage also their expectations, no? And uh, we will not go wrong if the couple and the destination as well as the, uh, all the suppliers will agree. So yeah. that's very important because if hindi sila mag-agree, then uh, I, I agree with uh, Sir Eri here that we don't want to compromise our, our you know, our resort oh. also. Because most especially, Aya, in, in Bukal, very strict ang ating local government. Hmm. Which is for me, Miss Amy, that's a good news, ha? It's good news na you're strict. It's good news na meron protocols. It's good news na meron tayong kailangan na kamask, uh, kailangan social distancing. Kasi kapag naman invited guest ka, hindi mo na yun napapansin. Eh, ba dahil very in the moment ka na. Eh. So I feel like it's really a good news na merong mga ganyan na people who have uh, roles to do that for you guys na mga pasaway. Now, Miss Patty, um, Ano po yung masasabi niyo doon? Ano yung dapat na top mindset ng mga clients based from your experience and field of expertise when planning a wedding? Well, um, the essence of the wedding is really the couple's love. And those that they have in the wedding are the people they love and those who love them. So paramount in their mind should be the well-being and safety of everyone. And uh, they should remember that this moment will never happen again. So um, if they take the necessary steps and the necessary precautions ahead of time and follow them, um, it will be the most memorable moment in their lives, right? Mm -hmm. So, and we are all here to make sure that um, this is the most memorable moment in their lives. Mm -hmm. So uh, I do agree with everyone that um, this is an interesting time in our history that we have to take uh, extra steps. But uh, in retrospect, isn't it a little bit of a relief that all the hoopla is gone? And we can just focus on the essentials. Yeah. So, let's move on. Ituloy ang kasal. Mag-ingat lang. Mm -mm. Ang ganda nun. Thank you, Miss Patty. Talagang all boiled down to the foundation of um, the the event or end of the wedding. Thank you, Miss Patty. Thank you. Um, 
Miss Cam, last question ka na for tips sa mga ating nagpaplano mag-wedding. How can you keep everyone on the loop and informed on developments of the couple's wedding day? Right, like right now. Oh, so right now, actually, uh, I guess this is nakakatawa kasi right now, we really get to maximize all our communication channels. So before, okay. we've always had in our packages, oh, ano, slight, uh, uh, shout out over here. Um, slight plug rather. Um, in our packages, we always include noon pa yung Facebook event management, making sure that they have a Facebook event page. So right now, ngayon sa big lang lalong na gagamit at na appreciate ng couples. Kasi mm -hmm. with the ever changing, di ba may mga change of date, sometimes mm -hmm. change of venue. We've had a couple talagang hindi sa change of date pero change of everything as in lahat ng plans nila uh, na bago yung date lang yung date. so right now talaga very important to maximize all communication channels if you have the text uh, the cell phone numbers landline numbers of your guests we really ask our clients to turn them yeah. over to us so we could also send them a text so talagang wala <laughs> ka ng excuse ko, oh wala ka ng excuse, excuse kung hindi ka updated oh, oh. Yeah, oh, uh, hindi ka then, reply. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Sa Facebook nakakatawa kasi they've updated it na may online event, mayroong physical event. So there are those settings okay. already. That's good. Yeah, and then ang nakakatawa pa on top of them getting notified whenever we have posts. Talagang mm -hmm. pinopost namin uh, change of date. We even post the wave link already where they can mm -hmm. park. Um, yung mga health declarations for declaration forms for mm -hmm. the venues also we place it all in the facebook event page and then on top of that i think it's gonna be the next big thing meron na ngayong website where you can create your own online rsvp although mm -hmm. i don't think people are that too much into emails pero sila naman it gives you the option to have a change the date then it sends out a newsletter to all the guests going to your wedding so oh. lahat ng channels we make use of them. We tell the client, call all your ninang, call all your ninong. <laughs> Tapos kami mismo, please give us authority to keep on posting on your socials. Uh -huh. And of course, um, again, texting them all. Like, give us the authority to follow up on your guests na there's gonna be change of plans or there's gonna be a change of venue, change of date, mm -hmm. or suddenly they would have to be part of the online guest list only. So, Actually, um, in terms of that also, one last thing, what we do is we separate, kasi di ba also namin yung live streaming as Sir Patrick did say, pinaghihiwalay namin yung guest list for those, and pinaghihiwalay ulit namin yung Facebook event page. Kasi okay. what we don't want to happen is, halimbawa ako, guest ako, there's just one big Facebook event page, tapos yung details, even ng on-site event are there. Kasi parang hindi pala ako invited. Parang sinabihan na ako verbally ni... Um, ni Bride or ni Groom na, oh, uh, ano, uh, online ka lang aaten, sa YouTube ka lang aaten. Pero since I keep on getting the reminder to go to this venue on this day, baka mawala sa isip ko na online guest lang ako. No, but so what we do, yun. we always tell our clients na hiwalay. Um, ito, don't even tell them where you're getting married. Just give them the, the Facebook live. Just give them the YouTube link or just give them the Zoom link. Don't even tell them where the wedding is going to be. Yeah. And some of our couples, mas planning pa kaysa sa amin, um, they just post the link or they just announce to their friends a week before the wedding. <laughs> parang hindi talaga pumunta dun sa physical venue. Although parang, please watch, um, please go on YouTube by this time I'm getting married. We'll just send you some food. So, um, yun, just extra careful. Uh, making things even more organized. As you introduced me earlier, naging best friend ko yung Google Sheets. So, lalo ngayon, si Excel siya kasi Google Sheets, kailangan may sige-sige isang sheet, si online, si offline guests, para hindi din sila malito. You wouldn't want to be expecting 30 guests, so suddenly everyone, even your online guests, 100 na kayong nasa venue. Hindi oh, rin naman namin papapatukin, pero ano gagawin mo sa 70 other people in the registration table? Mm, that's a disaster. They're all in yeah. Oh. <laughs> diba? It's a disaster. So, we just segregate them, simula pa lang. Ang ganda no, no? Ako, personally, <laughs> oh nga, no? Thank you so much, Miss Cam, for that. Now, uh, for my last question for you guys, para siyang fast talk. Slight lang. 
Now I'm going to ask you, let's start with Sir Patrick. What hashtag would you use uh, for the safe weddings in 2020? Oh, nakamit po kayo ulit. <laughs> Well, tuloy ang kasal. Yes. Be safe. Tuloy ang ligaya. I like that. Tuloy ang kasal. Miss Amy, what hashtag would you use for the safe weddings in 2020? Hashtag be safe, be happy. Oh, I like that. Miss Patty, hashtags for safe weddings. Eh, kasi kinuha ni Patrick yung hashtag ko eh. Tuloy ang kasal. Hashtag ituloy ang kasal. Tuloy ang kasal. Sir Ari. Pwede, pwede na. Uh, my hashtag, um, uh, hashtag wear a mask. Yun talaga. Like, <laughs> seriously. I mean, because honestly, and you'll, 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 you'll really see that a mask really doesn't get in the way of you celebrating mm. and enjoying yeah. and feeling the love. It really doesn't. It just just means you have an extra garment, extra ornament that you're wearing. But that that extra thing you're wearing will preserve and protect you and yeah. everyone else. So you can have it. You can feel the love. You can do everything. Mm. And mm. a mask will not get in the way of that. It will only protect yeah. you. So True, definitely wear a mask. Yeah, and also naisip ko, kung naka face shields kayo or face masks sa, sa wedding album, it will be very memorable na parang yeah. 10 years after uy but lahat kayo nakamask oh because that is the year na nagkaroon ng coronavirus and mm. we just proceeded to the wedding so it will be more memorable like di ba 10 years from now you're part diba? of history you are yeah. part of history <laughs> and you did it on 20 in 2020 so guys wear a mask it's a statement you know i'm a 2020 survivor so just wear a mask or a face shield miss cam what hashtag would you use for the safe weddings in 2020 Pili ko sobrang prepared ko for this. We already used this on our own social media pages. Oh. Hashtag less guests equally beautiful. Oh, I love that. I love that. Woo! Kayo guys na nagpaplano dyan sa Facebook, nakaisip na ba kayo ng hashtag para sa wedding nyo? Main takeaway from the discussion is that um, if you're planning to make your wedding happen and the new normal, talagang be prepared and follow the news. Uh, closely. Diba? Maintain open conversation with your vendors and guests. Now, uh, before I let you go, uh, I have a super duper small favor from you guys. Uh, we have this uh, GPS TV move that we do here. It's very simple, promise. So when I say uh, on Facebook and YouTube, here on GPS TV, we remind you to, uh, you just do the hashtag sign, hashtag go safe, go travel. Sure. Yeah. And then go Philippines. Okay. okay. Go Philippines. Sorry. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Good. Okay. So, kulwari, hindi okay. tayo, hindi tayo nag-practice. Okay. Sa ating viewers sa YouTube and Facebook, dito sa GPS TV, kasama ng ating mga wedding online buddies, we remind you to hashtag go safe, safe. Go, go travel, safe. go travel, go Philippines. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Sorry. Yay! Thank you so much. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. And may you all keep safe. Uh, thank you for sharing your wisdom. And sa ating mga viewers, talaga, ha? Naku, walang pasaway. Thank you so much, Miss Cam, Sir Ari, Miss Patty, Miss Amy, and Sir Patrick. Thank, thank you so you, much Aya. for being here. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you, so thank you so much. Thank you so much to everyone who joined in on the conversation. That was truly a value-adding experience diba? for us all here on Facebook and YouTube. Um, it's very different if it's coming from them mismo na on-ground, yung nasa mga uh, on-ground events ng wedding right now, lalo na sa new normal. Uh, thank you also, of course, to Hotel Sales and Marketing Association or HSMA, uh, the Department of Tourism and the Tourism Promotions Board for making this show possible. Sana uh, marami kayo natutunan and nalaman tungkol sa safe and mindful traveling, uh, most especially ha on having weddings in a new normal. Always plan your trips, guys, and consider the health situation um, of your family, your resources, and the location you're going to. Siyempre, 
again, on top of strict medical protocols so that everyone can safely enjoy, including the rest of the people around you. Talagang uh, may papakita natin ang bayanihan sa pamamagitan ng pagiging mapagmatsyag na manlalakbay. And uh, this time, kung tayo ay mapagmatsyag na guest sa mga weddings as well, di ba? Always remember that for us to safely, uh, to have a worry-free travel experience, a worry-free wedding experience. And of course, we have to hashtag go safe, go travel. Go safe first before we go travel. Until the next slide, this has been your online travel buddy, Aya Fernandez. Watch out for more episodes and see you again only here on GPS TV. Go Philippines, Sorhai. Mabuhay po tayong lahat.